how do we practice being unique? Do we just wake up one day and we decide that today and from now on, I am going to be unique? Or this is also involves the whole process of being unique involves some other aspects. I believe that there are at least at least 12 areas where we need to put our attention on and practice. And those are, I just will name them now, and then you can think about them in your own time. So the first one is you must live your passions. So of course, in order to live your passions, you have to discover them first. But passions, living your passionate life is very important in business and life. Then the second aspect would be we have to build our confidence in ourselves. So building confidence, it is very important. Then knowing your strengths and weaknesses. Being in love with yourself. Another one is knowing your worth. The next one, celebrating your wins and celebrating your mistakes. That's how we learn. The next one, invest in yourself. Invest in continuous personal and professional development. Believe, of course, and trust yourself. Silence your inner critic when this wee voice somewhere here starts nagging you. You are not enough. You are stupid. You are a loser and so on. Learn and practice how to silence this wee small voice. Practice gratitude. Be grateful for everything what is happening in your life. Then it is important as well, when you know what inner gifts you have, it is important to share those gifts with others. And then of course, it is very important, just be you. And all this comes with practice. It comes with conscious awareness. However, you can be unique. And you are going to be if that is your aim. I am Lolita Reed, Intuitive Business Coach, and I'm here to support you on your journey to be you. I'll see you next time. Till then, be unique, be you always.